first a young husband's bold gamble to save not just his marriage but his life. As you're about to see, Tyler was almost a prisoner in his own home, a victim of Tourette's syndrome. But his decision to undergo radical surgery has been hailed by doctors and other sufferers. You're watching disturbing home video of one of the worst cases of Tourette's syndrome ever recorded. The young man screaming, twitching and convulsing uncontrollably is 23-year-old Tyler Beauchet. I was hitting myself in the face as hard as I could. I broke my own nose, blackened my eyes. It can impact on all aspects of quality of life. You can't safely feed yourself or dress yourself or toilet yourself. And in many times, you need constant supervision. Just pouring a glass of milk is a desperate struggle. The towel in his mouth is to stop him from biting himself. Well, he's certainly at the more severe end of the, the spectrum. And bear in mind that he has to put up with that pretty much 24 hours a day. So it's pretty terrible for him and his family. Tyler's had this severe neurological condition since he was nine. I'd yell at my body, at my mind, you know, stop doing this. Tyler has agreed to undergo a radical and risky procedure called deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation involves us implanting a couple of very fine wires or electrodes deep within the brain into very specific areas. And what we do is we pass a, a continuous electric current through that uh, wire and into the brain. And Dr Richard Batar is a neurosurgeon who performs the procedure here in Australia. Two electrodes are placed deep in the brain, where faulty neurons cause the Tourette's. The probes are connected to batteries that are put in the patient's chest. The electrodes basically reset the misbehaving brain cells, hopefully making the tics disappear. We know that we're in the right area. Just look at how quickly this patient's tremor stops when Dr. Batar turns the electrodes on. Tremor stopped. If it works, and it does work in probably most patients that it's done on, um, it can really transform their life. It's given me back a lot of independence. I can, I can drive to the shops short distance and I can drive around. I can even take myself fishing. Stuart Chan was just eight years old when the first signs of Tourette started. My eyes started blinking and I, I couldn't control it. And I started snorting. <clears throat> Like that, and um, then I developed the twitch, um, and I I couldn't control it no matter how hard I tried. Stewart's a keen fisherman, but even out here, he can't stop the ticks, the snorting, and the constant jerking of his head. They got so bad that I couldn't drive. I had to leave work, couldn't work anymore because the ticks were just that bad. Stuart's wife, so Naomi. He'd be really depressed and um, hitting his head against walls and hitting um, doors and, and um, smashing his arm in a doorway. So the rage was the scariest bit. In a desperate bid to regain control of his body, Stuart also decided to undergo deep brain stimulation. It was done by Professor Peter Silburn. Oh, it's always risky. There's no doubt about it. And it must be understood that there is a significant risk, but there's also a chance that it may not work, and sometimes it doesn't work. There's one of the batteries, which is very much like a pacemaker, and I have two, one on either side. And, um, yeah, you can see the wires running up and around the side of my head and inserted into the electrodes into the top. Stuart's ticks haven't totally gone, but he's back to driving and cooking. And best of all, he says, He's going to be a dad. And now with this technology, it's allowed us to make the decision to have children. So it's changed our life. To give Stuart his more control over his brain and stop that awful electrical storm and noise that hits it, that's just a, a huge win. No doubt about it. Back in the States, Tyler Beauchet has gone from this to this. Finding love and marrying a girl called Cassie. I never thought any girl would be interested in me. I fell in love with the kind of heart that he has. I can't see my life without him. Of course. I'm happy, happy. To anyone out there with Tourette's, um, if you really stick with it and don't see it as a disability, you can really enjoy yourself, really enjoy life. 
It's a brave decision, but I guess when you look at how they were living, there's not much choice, is there? And next week is National Tourette's Week. For more information, go to our 9MSN website.